Friends, it is Saturday, the 23rd of July, and we're going to read, we're going to go back to the beginning of the Ten Commandments today and just take a look at verse 2, uh, Exodus 20, verse 2. Yesterday, we introduced the theme of dependence. We talked about ontological dependence, the way as creatures we depend upon God, creatures that have limitations, and also that um, because of our brokenness, this, we, we have a further set of limitations that have to do with our angle of vision on things and our uh, a further set of limitations. But there's another kind of uh, dependence we have on God that's also existential. So let's, um, let's take a look at that in uh, 20 verse 2, the very first commandment. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. We need release and saving from things that enslave us. Now, most of us are used to um, becoming adults, and our freedom grows, and our independence grows, and we don't think of ourselves as slaves to anything. However, there are many forms of slavery. It's not simply uh, the forced control of time and labor that we saw in Egypt that was imposed by the Pharaoh on the Israelites. Uh, there's also a, a mental slavery, adherence to ideas and ideologies that are false and that diminish life. And so uh, history is strewn with false ideas that people held on to that, uh, that limit and hurt others and that diminish our lives. Uh, there's also the slavery at a, more, a very personal and existential level of guilt and shame. Uh, guilt and shame, and, and, the, and guilt and shame are usually accompanied by fear. Those emotional and psychological realities that, that connect to our failure and our sense of inadequacy, uh, our uh, worries about the world and its problems and its tragedies and its opposition and its evil, those things also cripple uh, and diminish life. And you can become enslaved to those. Uh, I once had a, a young man who was in one of my halls at university where I was in charge of the, the hallway. So he was one of my charges, so to speak, someone that I was responsible for in a certain, at a certain level. And he had a, so much of a social fear. He had a fear that others were um, out to get him, that, 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 that he was unsafe around other people. And it, it led to his complete isolation, eventually his withdrawal from the school because he couldn't attend classes. He couldn't afford to be around people. That's an extreme case, a psychological condition. But all of us to some degree have things we're afraid of, we have uh, things that create shame and guilt in us. This, these two can enslave us and limit us. And it's only the divine love and acceptance that can free human beings from all these forms of slavery. We have a wonderful God that wants to. The Exodus isn't a one-off. Uh, the cross isn't uh, just one moment. God wants to free us from all of the things that enslave us. Let's take a moment and pray. Lord, help us today to reflect on what we've wrestled with emotionally and spiritually that has diminished our, our lives, that has been partially or fully enslaving for us. Uh, for some, some of us listening today, it, it might have been a relationship with alcohol or drugs. Uh, for some of us, it might have been uh, a relationship with our work where we became so focused that we, we lost a sense of proportion and we, we, um, we became slaves to the work that we had been given to our own success. Whatever has enslaved us, Lord, we want to be free from it. Show us the steps we need to take and uh, the disciplines we need to acquire in order to become people who find that perfect freedom in your service. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.